Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 19. In this video, we'll be adding a health bar over our enemy's head. So I'll start off by giving this enemy, I'll right click and go to UI Canvas. Now, creating that canvas just now gave me an event system. We're going to delete that event system. One, because it simply helps us click on the canvas, which we won't be doing. And two, our RPG UI that we load when we hit play already comes with one. On the canvas game object, we're going to change it from a screen space overlay to a world space canvas. Now we're allowed to set the width and height, and most importantly, the scale. As you can see, this canvas is huge, so we're going to set the scale to 0.01. 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Actually, the z-axis is just going to be a, a 1. Now let's set its position x and y to 0 to bring it back towards the zombie. And let's change the width as well. Let's say maybe... One fifty, maybe one twenty five by fifty. Twenty. So the canvas itself has a very small scale and a very small width and height. I'm going to move it up, and it's simply going to be above our enemy's head. I'll make it even smaller, perhaps. Now let's go to the canvas and we're going to right click and make a image. I'll click on the rect transform crosshairs, hold alt shift and click on the stretch box on the bottom right and that will make it as big as its parent, the entire canvas in this case. And just like our other health bar and experience bar tutorials, we're going to make a background and then a fill. If we want the image to fill up, we'll have to give it a sprite. So I will go to my fill, give it that blank texture. Let's first change it to a sprite, import options, fill, now I have a source image and I can change it to a fill, and we'll do a horizontal fill. Perfect. One thing we'll want to do is to make sure that it's always facing the camera. So our game view is about right here. So we want the canvas to face us. So what I will do is on the canvas game object, I'll simply drop a script called face camera late. So Plygame does come with a script called player camera facing billboard, but it's on update, and we want on late update. When you use on update, the canvas can sometimes jerk to the side if you move quickly. Using my edited on late update script, it will always face the camera. So that's just what we want, and I'll put this in a link in the description. We'll also want to reverse face so that the text and or fill goes the right direction. Alright, now let's do some logic so that it only shows if it's not at 100% and then also when it hits zero it disappears. So we'll put those ply blocks on the canvas One thing to keep in mind is that in my health bar and experience bar videos, I put the logic to link our health attribute to the fill of the image. I put that in a common on late update. But late updates happen more than one time a frame, let's say between two and four times a frame. And if you're running at 60 frames per second, that's potentially hundreds of times per second. And we don't need to update health bars that often. We only need to update them when the health is changed. 
So there is actually a RPG attribute on HP change. So instead of setting the fill amount to our player's health on late update, it's probably a better choice to use on HP change. So I'll start with the health bars off, and then we'll enable them when they get hit. So here let's do on HP change, and we can set property. Let's, well, I suppose let's turn it on first. So that's object, enable, disable, and we can enable our child of the canvas, the background image. And then let's set the image fill amount to, and that's our current health divided by our maximum health. So that's a math float, A divided by B, character, get attribute, consumable, health, divided by maximum health. And we can leave this as from self. Well, actually, let's drag the uppermost parent in our prefab. Perfect. Let's do some logic to decide when to turn on the health bar and when to turn it off. So we'll say if, we'll say health is greater than zero. So let's say get consumable health is greater than a common float of zero, we'll enable it and set the fill, and then we'll do else, let's turn off the health bar, meaning we're dead at this point. I will hit apply on my prefab. Alright, so I've changed my damage down from 50 so that I won't kill them in one hit, and let's see how it looks. So our world space health bars are working, they face the camera, they fill up properly, and we did it on HP change as opposed to on late update. So this is even more performance friendly right now than our experience or health and mana orbs. So this worked out pretty good. They're a bit long, so I'll probably reduce the width on the canvas, but other than that, everything came out really good in this episode. So thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time, where we'll be going over damage mitigation.